Uh, I'm Fran Parry, I'm Vice Chair of the Bus Shelter in Milton Keynes. Thank you very much indeed for inviting me to your awards event. Everyone, everybody at the Bus Shelter MK is extremely grateful for your support tonight and for your ongoing interest in the charity. We'll have slides scrolling throughout dinner and I thought it would be helpful to put them into some kind of context for you. We started as a bus purchased on eBay, hence the name. You rem may remember us at Campbell Park and in the MK Shopping Centre. We began in 2018 with a bunch of people getting together with an ambition to do something more long-term and tangible for Milton Keynes Street homeless. The pandemic was a blessing and a curse for us. We could no longer operate the bus due to COVID restrictions, but we were given the opportunity to take up a lease from MK Council on what was basically a tool shed. During the lockdown, our team worked hard, fast and imaginatively to create a shared facility for homeless people in the building, comprising a kitchen diner, laundry area, sitting room and bathrooms, and nine individual lockable and numbered pods made from shipping containers. This is called George House and it's in Stantonbury. Do come down and see us sometime. Each pod has its own discrete address without which you can't really function nowadays, as you'll appreciate. Our homeless guests are referred to us or they self-refer. We aren't a short-term fix. We endeavour to break the revolving door of repeated episodes of homelessness by taking all the time it takes to help each individual guest to turn their life around. Our objective is to assist our guests into permanent homes. Guests stay at George House for several months, regaining their mental and physical fitness, establishing the basics you naturally have when you have your own postal address, things like a passport, a bank account, access to benefits, renewed contract with loved ones. All in all, gaining confidence and thinking about their future ambitions. Sometimes we can assist them into accommodation of their own at this stage. Alternatively, we move them into one of our three moving on houses, which we've leased since last year. We have 12 bedrooms in the moving on houses. Guests living here are living more independently, but have as much support from the bus shelter MK staff team as they want or need, as we continue to work with them to secure them their own accommodation. So, we now have 23 beds. We're always full. There is always a waiting list for our services. The number of street homeless in our city grows and the cost to rent in Milton Keynes climbs ever higher. As a board, we are committed to increasing the number of moving on properties we rent and thereby the number of guests that we can work with. We're looking very seriously into the purchase of suitable property and possibly becoming a housing association. There are loads of very mundane reasons why people become homeless. Partnership and family breakdown, ill health, debt, unscrupulous landlords, all the financial ramifications of the cost of living crisis are just some of them. We all have sliding door moments, I know I have, when we make a decision that has huge ramifications for our personal futures. Sometimes our guests have just made a wrong decision. The bus shelter is there not to apply a sticking plaster solution, but to change lives for good, and we do that and we do exactly that. It's often challenging, frequently frustrating, but always rewarding. We are supported by people like you day in, day out. They volunteer, they cook meals for us, they work with our guests as mentors, they assist us with bespoke projects as they arise. There are lots of ways that you can help us. We always welcome dry and tin good foods donations. All cash donations go into the support of our service. I'm afraid you won't see any freebies from us on our tables because on your tables because we put every penny into our guest support. That's not because we're mean. We're always keen to talk with employers about skilling, reskilling and employment opportunities. And if you know of buildings that may be suitable for our moving on homes, please do get in touch. I'm going to close very quickly with some facts. Our guests have ranged in age from 17 to 70. We have a gentleman with us, living with us at the moment who's 70. They're male and female, they're mostly female. They're predominantly skilled, highly intelligent people, keen to work and progress. There's no end point to our support. We're always there if our former guests need us. Over the last 12 months, we've provided a temporary home and individualized support for 44 guests who otherwise would have slept on Milton Keynes streets. A further 23 former guests, with our help, have moved into their own accommodation, usually private rentals. Since 2018, we've provided a temporary home for around 200 people. A further 600 people have received, ho received homelessness advice. This is currently unfunded, but we give it willingly. Over 20,000 nights were not slept on Milton Keynes streets. Thousands of hot showers were taken. I wasn't able to calculate how many of them. 60,000 meals were provided. A huge, massive mountain of laundry was washed. Seven dogs were welcomed. They brought their humans along too. Mm -hmm. 
Finally, I'd just like you to take a short moment to think about that feeling when you get home after a hard day. You kick off your shoes and you fall into the comfort of your home. It's a basic human need, and it was beautifully captured by one of our new guests who said recently, I feel like a king. I have a comfortable bed and my own room. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart for your support tonight. It's really, really appreciated. I hope you have a thoroughly enjoyable and successful evening. Thank you. What an incredible, worthwhile cause. Thank you, Fran, uh, our charity partner this year from the Bus Shelter MK.